Hi, my name is Tan and I'm from Clang. So here's my custom Protect 35 that I've been flying for a while now. And I've been noticing that I've been getting quite poor video feed. And how I describe it is as if no power mode was on except for not only the side of the screen, the whole screen is as blur as the compensation for low power mode. In my case, it was actually the fact that my quad frame was grounded. So the way to actually check, get a multimeter and set it to continuity mode. That is uh, this orange logo over here. Here's a quad that I haven't fixed yet. It's still grounded and giving me poor video feed. As you can see, when I put one prong onto negative ground, and I start touching like these screws or whatnot. The screws are grounded. Still have my prong there. In my case, the whole frame was grounded because of electrical interference. The whole time a lipo is plugged in. So that gets in the way of the VTX to do its job. And basically the ground frame was actually being caused by the air unit itself because I did not rig it properly in this build. I actually placed it vertical. Top and bottom of the air unit light was actually touching the frame. For the air unit light specifically, I'm gonna put one prong to ground. So one thing a VTX has ground is at the antenna, which is to be expected. There's also connectivity on the USB. But the air unit light also has ground on these screws. And if we flip it over, these screws as well. Basically, these screws were touching the um, carbon fiber of my quadcopter. And this carbon fiber uh, can actually conduct ground with no problems. For example, touch one screw over here and touch this screw on the back here. That's basically grounded. So there, once this air unit was touching the carbon fiber over here, it started moving towards this screw and this screw and there was continuity everywhere hence the frame was grounded so all i really had to do was on the top and the bottom of my air unit light i had to just use a little bit of this uh, foam tape to basically just put a layer on the top and the bottom so when i mounted vertically neither any of these screws or the antenna or my usb c will be touching the frame hence the frame is not grounded besides these screws what is also um, conducting ground is when you put something through the mounting holes. For example, an M2 metal screw. This thing is now conducting ground. And since it's gone through the frame as well, the, uh, there's currently ground towards this bottom of the frame. So this would actually start grounding all the other screws as well. And how I'm going to rig this is not with a metal screw, but instead I'll be using cable ties. And like so, I have a rig that is non-conductive, like so. And I'm just put four on the four mounting holes and you're set to go. And that's how I basically fixed my air unit when uh, it was grounded. And just as an addition, I'll just mention a few other things that might cause your whole carbon fiber to be grounded. Um, the obvious one would be, for example, a ground, a ground wire happens to be cut through and then the bottom of it makes contact with the, uh, the frame. That could also ground the frame as well. And one of the more dangerous grounds out there would definitely be, let's just say you are putting a screw through your arm towards the motor and if let's just say this end of the screw tip touches one of these windings, that is also a source that might ground your whole quad. And the last time that this happened to me was this one actually killed my analog video feed. And that in my opinion is also a really bad way to ground your quad. And uh, that's just some tips to look out for. Anyway, I hope these tips were useful for you. My name is Stan, I am from Clang, and have a nice day.